I'll dry her off really good. It takes about a minute for her to let her milk down. And while she's letting her milk down for me, I will show you how this works. This is a milking machine. In the old days, granddaddy and daddy milked by hand when they first started. I prefer this. Because it takes about five minutes to milk a cow. And how this works is kind of like a vacuum cleaner. Everybody's got a vacuum cleaner at home, right? Yeah. All right, I don't want to see anybody going home and milking a cow with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> because you have to have something called a pulsator. You hear that click? Yeah. That is a pulsator. What the pulsator does, it takes these little tubes, rubber tubes, and it squeezes. Just like that. And if y'all can see, every time it clicks, it squeezes. And what it does, squeezes the milk out. The vacuum then takes the milk through the tubes into this jar. Now, the only thing I have missing from here that we have down at the barn, and they're fixing to start milking in a minute, is a big tank connected to this pipe. And that big tank cools it down to 36 degrees because the milk coming out of the cow is over 100 degrees. Wow. Because it's inside her body and that's her body temperature. Okay? So we have to cool that milk down so it'll stay until the milk truck comes. And then the milk truck comes, picks up that cold milk, and takes it to the plant. And they heat it up real quick and cool it back down to make sure there's no germs in it. It's called pasteurization. And that's when they put it in the bottle for you. Hopefully we'll get a pasteurizer and we'll do it here and we'll sell our milk. All right. I think she is ready. Are y'all ready? suction off. You got suction, I have line, suction in all these lines like a vacuum cleaner. Now let me show you. What we do is we take the milker and we flip it upside down. And we can turn it on, it makes no noise. Because we don't want to scare the cow when we go in there, but listen. What does that sound like? Alright, now watch my finger. Try that. Oh. Good again. Take it right in there. Okay? Alright, does not hurt the cow. Make sure you get the milk. 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 Pregúntele a alguien cómo hace para saber cuando ya no tiene leche ella ahí. Se puede salir sangre. Hay leche que no se puede salir sangre de las vacas, mami. Look, Andrew, at the milk, Tito. <gasps> wow, look at all of that milk. Alright, now this milk coming out of the cow is just like whole milk in the grocery store. I can milk Six and a half percent fat free. A lot of people don't know that. Whole milk is not much different than 2%. 2% is 98, and whole milk is 96.8% fat free. Wow, that milk is. No, but they want you to buy the 2% so they can make the extra cheese and butter out of the fat from the home milk. Okay. The more 2% and the more skim milk you drink, the more money they make. Look at that! Because you're going to buy the milk for the same price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you you're being scammed, but you're being scammed. Cool. <laughs> I get the milk out of from that too! All right, now she's giving about two and a half gallons right now. And I'm fixing to see if she's almost done. Okay, I think she's about done. Now, I feed this to the baby hogs. The baby pigs. And they come out with their little bottles. Okay, they come out with their little Now. The last thing we have to do to the cow, that milk came out really fast. So we take something called iodine. 
Get right into the doctor. Yo, little mommy. That kills germs. What we want to do is make sure no germs get inside the cow. So we do something called dipping. We dip each teeth with the iodine. And the reason we do that is because the end of the teeth stays open for